Car safety advocates are warning about a potential risk from electric vehicles. As automakers roll out bigger and heavier EVs, there's growing concern that extra weight of those batteries could result in extra risk to other drivers and pedestrians in a collision, especially from electric trucks and SUVs. Chris Van Cleve spoke with the chair of the NTSB about those concerns. Crash tests show electric vehicles hold up well in a collision. The extra weight from their batteries help better protect the people inside. But safety advocates worry the extra hundreds and sometimes thousands of pounds present a potential growing danger to other drivers. It's great that we are focused on air quality, but we are not focused on safety with these vehicles. National Transportation Safety Board Chair Jennifer Homendy. If you think about an impact in a crash with a lighter vehicle, with a pedestrian, it's going to have a much different outcome. Terribly tragic. Is there a concern that as people switch to EVs that you see deaths on the roads go up? Absolutely, it could. This crash test shows what happens when a sedan is hit by an SUV weighing nearly a thousand pounds more. The smaller car suffers noticeably more damage. Why does that extra weight make a difference? The mass matters, and it's simple laws of physics. Raul Arbelize from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. The crash for the other vehicle, when you are heavier, is going to be more severe. GMC's electric Hummer can go zero to 60 in roughly three seconds while weighing more than 9,000 pounds over 3,000 pounds more than GMC's full-size pickup. And its battery alone comes in at about 2,900 pounds, roughly the same as a Toyota Corolla. The electric Ford F-150 weighs up to 2,500 pounds more than its gas-powered sibling. And Rivian's pickup weighs in around 7,100 pounds, while the average vehicle on the roads today weighs closer to 4,300. That difference matters. A 2011 study found even a 1,000 pound difference results in a 47% increase in the likelihood a crash turns deadly. I have a, a 7,000 pound vehicle hitting a 4,000 pound SUV. The impact on that smaller vehicle is going to be quite significant. It is going to be a more severe crash with more intrusion and higher levels of injury. Safety advocates acknowledge that weight is only one factor in a crash, and while EV sales are surging, they still make up only a small fraction of the number of total vehicles on the roads, so injury and crash data is limited. In a statement, the trade group representing the auto industry says safety is a top priority, adding automakers continue to test, develop, and integrate breakthrough safety technologies like automatic emergency braking that help save lives and prevent injuries. Technology already common in EVs. Federal regulators are now moving to require collision avoidance systems in all new vehicles, gas or electric. The government says it would save 360 lives a year while reducing injuries by at least 24,000. We saw collision avoidance technology stop this nearly 5,000 pound electric Genesis SUV on a test track. Technology helping balance out bulked up batteries. For CBS Mornings, I'm Chris Van Cleve in Ruckersville, Virginia.